the entrance level of the museum, as you enter the North Galleries, you'll encounter a beautiful rotunda. Once used as the entrance to the Henry, you can look upward to see the dynamic vaulted ceiling, quotes by famous philosophers carved in stone, and contemporary art. miss the artwork in the rotunda by contemporary artist Roy McMakin. It is located on the south wall of the rotunda above the wrought iron door. The work, untitled, takes the shape of a transom window and was created specifically for the Henry Art Gallery along with other site-specific pieces on the occasion of the artist's 2004 exhibition Roy McMakin, Adornment as Adornment. Transom windows are most often located above the horizontal beam that sits above a door. This beam is called a transom, and that is how the windows got their name. Due to the artistic style in which most transom windows were constructed, and the fact that a variety of stained or etched glass was often used, it is clear that these windows served as decorative elements. But by allowing natural light into a room and creating cross ventilation, they also served a utilitarian purpose. When looking at the window, you see a partly cloudy sky through the transom's wrought iron grating. In reality, you're looking at a digital print covering the actual window. If McMakin's print were removed, you would be looking not at the sky, but at the James Terrell Sky Space, a signature presence on the southwest corner of the museum. McMakin greatly admires the mastery of Carl Gould's architectural design for the original Henry building and sought to recapture the view through this window from the museum's early years. Want to see the real view through the transom window? Walk through the doors beneath the window to the James Terrell Sky Space. On your way back into the rotunda, make sure to check out the wrought iron window that inspired Roy McMakin's piece. 